Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela and I am so incredibly excited today. I can't even tell you. If I'm out of breath, it's because my mailman is difficult or maybe he wants me to be healthy. I don't know which, but one of my boxes he put on my front door and then the other box he put in our community mailbox. So then I kind of was like sitting there watching for him to leave so I could go get these boxes or the second box. That's how excited I was because I haven't opened them, even though I've had the first box for over 30 minutes now and I'm just super excited. So today I have my pre-order from Teddy Bees. She got them out extremely fast and I did not realize that she's in Houston. And so I got mine super fast because I'm just on the outskirts of Houston. So I'm super excited. I have two boxes. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. She does not like to be alone. So when the kids are gone, she's right with me all the time. And she's being a little loud right now. So we're gonna go ahead and go through these boxes and hopefully I can get them done before the kids get home. But I hope you're just as excited as I am because I am so, so excited. So. Ironically, the one that was put in the community mailbox that I had to walk to was a lot heavier than the one left at my door. So we're gonna start with the one left at my door and just kind of go from there. So when I open the box, she has some nice bubble wrap with some packing shreds. And I really should be more prepared and I should have like a garbage bag here. That way I can Scoop them out without scooping them all over the floor. So I did place two orders. I did one, then I went back in and placed another one because there just was so much that I wanted. And even looking now on the pre-order list, I'm, there's a few that I wish that I would have gotten, but I, I got a lot. So we're just gonna grab and go. Okay, so the first is Small Town Circus which is caramel apples, kettle corn, funnel cakes, and cinnamon sugar pretzels. And this is a souffle. Okay. Oh, that is so good. Oh my gosh. So I get, I get the caramel apples, but then I get the kettle corn and the funnel cakes too. And then that pretzel is like a yeasty pretzel with that cinnamon sugar on it. Oh, that's really good. That is a really good balance because so often you get blends that either have like the kettle corn type smell or you have just caramel apple. And this one, this one's both. Charity, I don't know if you watch my channel, but have you tried this one? Cause I bet this is right up your alley of scents that you would like. I don't know if maybe she'll do some of this in the restock also. So side note, I know a few of you have commented on how pretty my nails are. Um, I had to chop them off because I am in school right now and I had about three papers that I had to type up one day and they were just too long. So I haven't even had the heart to repaint them yet since I chopped them. So sorry, they're not so pretty anymore. Okay. The Haunted Bakery, Zucchini Bread, Buttercream Frosting, and Pecan Pralines, also souffle. The thing is, her list was so long and so epic, I just didn't even know what to choose. There was just so much. Oh, this one's really good. You really get that zucchini bread. It's almost like a pumpkin pecan waffle scent. And then the richness from the buttercream. Mm, that's really good. And her souffles are super pretty. I didn't pull the first one out, but she has a little bit of glitter and a swirl on top. Mm, that one's really good too. I, so you all know I'm melting her this week. Well, not her, I'm melting Teddy Bees this week. And um, I just, I love her bakery scents. They're a super, super, super rich bakery. Okay, pumpkin peanut brittle. So pumpkin roasted peanuts, caramel brittle. So bath and body work type. So this is good. 
but it doesn't quite smell like the Bath and Body Works one to me. So I get a lot more right now of the roasted peanut smell than I do of like the, the caramel brittle. I wonder if I can do this without making a mess. I want to smell the bottom, but I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, to me, I get very much more of a roasted peanut and not a very sweet scent. But this one, let's see when this one was poured. 927, so I mean, this cured, so I don't know. I wish it was a little bit sweeter. Okay, Santa Claus is coming to town. So the smell of fresh baked cookies, candy canes, and Christmas trees. Oh, this one is so good. So you really, you really do get all of that. You get the candy canes, the Christmas trees, and the cookies. Mm. I should have gotten more of this. I should have gotten a loaf of this. That's really good. Peach cobbler circus cookies. So frosted sugar cookies blended with a decadent peach cobbler. So far, I've really been liking all of her blends that have the, fro the frosted circus cookies in them. Yeah, so I mainly get like a fresh peach with the undertone of the cookies where the cookie scent isn't as strong as the fresh peach scent is. That is good though. That's a very fresh, juicy peach scent. Um, a lot of the other peach scents I've smelled are a little more candy-like and this one's definitely more of that fresh, juicy peach. Cupcakes by the campfire. So cupcakes at Tiffany's, blueberry sugar, marshmallow fireside, and a hint of pine. So I think that the reason I didn't get a loaf of this one is because of the blueberry sugar. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of the blueberry. That is really good. So it's really a good blend of the marshmallow fireside and the cupcakes at Tiffany's. And then that blueberry sugar, it adds more of like a body care type vibe to me than um, a fruity vibe. That's really good. I think I'm okay with not having a loaf of it though. Next is cashmere pines. So cashmere cedar, cashmere cream, and vanilla pine cones. That one's really good. So the cashmere cedar is probably the strongest note to me, either that or the cashmere cream. So kind of a body care is type vibe. And then a very slight hint of those pine cones. It's not super piney, not super strong. It's definitely more of that cashmere, cashmere cedar type scent. Yeah, that's good. Um, but I think a souffle was the perfect size for me for that one. The Beautiful Creatures, so pecan waffles, palo santo, and vanilla milk. Um, I think I got the souffle because of the milk. I was a little worried about that. That's really good. I mostly just get pecan waffles though. Maybe a slight undertone of the palo santo. I really don't get any vanilla milk. She has a pretty gold mica on it too. I do really, really like her pumpkin pecan waffles though. I guess she calls it pecan waffles on this one. I wonder if there's a difference, I don't know. Okay, sweet Halloween. So candy corn vanilla cupcakes and sweet vanilla frosting.
that's really good. Um, it definitely, to me, smells like um, more of a buttercream type frosting than a sweet vanilla frosting. But that could be the candy corns. It's actually decently strong on cold. Which normally for me, candy corn scents aren't super strong. I like them, but that's why I got the souffle because I do like stronger scents. And so I wasn't sure how strong it would be. But that's actually really good. Winter Farmhouse, so sugar cane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. She just has some really amazing blends. I just... That one is really good. And that's blended so well, I can't really like pick out different scents. The rosemary mint and the sweet mint are not super strong. They're not like nose clearing. It's like everything's blended so well together. I do get the hint of the florals, the undertone of the Palo Santo. Mm, that's really pretty. Leans a little bit more body care type vibe for me. That's really, that's really pretty. I do like that one, but I, I wonder if it's the floral note that's making it seem a little more body care-esque to me. And then winter fell, so marshmallow fireside, palo santo, white birch, icy snow and vanilla. I do believe I already have a souffle of this one. Yeah, and this one's really good too. So you really get the marshmallow fireside with the Palo Santo and then the white birch. This does lean a little more masculine to me, but not in an overbearing way that some masculine scents are. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, now we have two loaves in this box. So we have Witches Be Crazy, which is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. And I've had this one before. It's amazing. It's just, it's so good. Her pumpkin pecan waffles. If you're a pumpkin pecan waffle lover, she has such a good one. And you really do get the extra bit from the cake and the cookie dough with a little bit of the cinnamon. That's so good. That's, that's really good. I really, really like that one. As I said before, I really love her bakery. I think she does bakery so incredibly well. Okay, and then my last loaf in this box, crushed candy canes and Christmas trees and cream. Super excited about this one. So it's fresh pine bows, Vanilla sugar waffle cone and rich vanilla buttercream layered with crushed candy canes. And I'm wondering if it's a double layered loaf. I almost think it was supposed to be. Oh, this one's definitely stronger on the mint. De definitely stronger. A little bit more gearing towards nose cleaning. But not, not super overpowering. I'm going to see if I can pop this out. My tin's a little banged up. I'm gonna get wax everywhere. Yeah, it is a layered loaf. So yeah, on the bottom, then I really get the Christmas tree scent. Oh, so pretty. That's really good. I do almost wish I would have gotten a loaf of each alone too, but this is delicious. Okay. Now let's go for the next box. Again, this one has the bubble wrap. This one had a card. I don't remember seeing a card in the other one, but maybe I just dumped it out super fast. Who knows? I was too excited to get to all the goodies. And then this one has a sample, which I don't think the other one did. So. She probably just put one sample and one card in one box. So the sample is the Riverlands. There's no scent description on it. Ooh, 
Oh, that's good. It's a really bright, um, fresh green type scent. I have no idea what's in it, but it's, it's a very bright, bright greenery scent. Mm. That's really good. I'll have to look up later what the scent notes are. Okay, so much more, so much more. Okay, weekend with Neen. So Winterfell layered with pink toasted marshmallow. So I wonder if it's a layer souffle then, probably is. Mm, so I really get that pink toasted marshmallow first. So I'm guessing that's what's on top. Let's see if I can open up this one. I feel like sometimes the souffles are a little bit harder to pop out than the loaves. Don't know why that is. Try not to damage it. Oh, I'm getting wax everywhere. Yeah. So yeah, the winterfell is on the bottom. Pink toasted marshmallows on the top. Mm, that's really good. I like that. Ooh, and now I kind of squished it. Oh well. Um, if you've never tried Teddy Bees before, her wax is softer. So when I did my chopping video with her wax, I didn't have to heat anything up, which was nice. Okay, which is be crazy for blueberries. So birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with sweet blueberries. So I didn't get a big, huge amount of this because I get worried about blueberry scents. I don't love all of them. Oh, this one's good. So the Witches Be Crazy is the dominant. And then you get those, those blueberries. So it almost reminds me of, I mean, it doesn't smell like a blueberry muffin at all, but like you have those fresh and juicy blueberries within whatever bakery goodness this is. Mm, that's actually really good. I probably could have done a loaf in that. Okay, balsam and blooms, vanilla balsam, a beach nights, sandalwood, and golden autumn florals. I love balsam. I love beach nights. I wasn't so sure about the florals. That's really good. So that, so um, I have a balsam beach nights blend already, I believe. And you can definitely smell the difference between that one and this one with the florals. The florals almost kind of adds like a light, airy note to it and tones down the strength of the balsam a little bit. That's really nice. I do think though I prefer just the balsam and beach, but they're both good. The Riverlands. Oh, so this is what the sample was. Okay. So Palo Santo, Cool Mountain Air, Balsam, Patchouli, Crisp Melon, Cedar, Crunchy Leaves, and Sandalwood. I never, never would have guessed that in a million years. I'm actually surprised that the Palo Santo's in here. So far, I can tell now that I, yeah. Interestingly, it smells a lot more masculine in this one than it does in the sample. Hmm. This one leans a lot more masculine to me, but still in a good way. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't pick out the separate notes. They're blended very, very well together. I do like that. I don't think that that's something I could melt all the time, but every once in a while. Whispering woods, so noble firs, pine needles, cedar, smoldering woods, and sandalwood. That's very good. And that's a lot different than the balsam type scents. You really get that, that cedar coming out. Mm, that's really good. 
Um, definitely not a sweet blend at all. Definitely a wooded blend with a little bit of a smoky, but not much smoky. But maybe like you're standing in a lumber yard almost. That's good, but I don't think I can melt it all the time. It's very strong. And I do, I think, prefer my tree blends blended with um, sweet or bakery. So Christmas trees and cream, fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich vanilla buttercream. So I just got a souffle in this. I probably should have gotten a loaf, quite honestly. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, you really get the vanilla sugar waffle cone and the buttercream, and then you get that pine. That's, that's really good. I definitely would have used a loaf of this had I gotten one. But I do really like it combined with the candy canes because you get that sweet peppermint scent with it too. So I'm okay with what I got. Okay, now we have chunks. So I just got vanilla balsam. So balsam for frosted vanilla, snow-capped pine, bath and body work type. Yeah, and it smells just, just like vanilla balsam. Oh, so good. Such a good scent. I love this scent, especially this time of year. Okay, and then I got Sweet Halloween. Oh, so I got this in a souffle and in a chunk bag. So I already did that one. And these chunks are huge this time. I think she mentioned that in the group that her chunks got a little, little bigger than normal when she was cutting and then campfire stories. So ooey gooey s'mores, cold night winds, and sweet vanilla woods. Oh, that one is good. That one is really good. It's different than anything that I have right now. That one is really good. I might have to get more of that one. So I really get that s'mores, but then with a, a hint of like freshness and woods. Oh, that's really good. Mm. And maybe a touch of spice, but maybe the spice is coming from the, the woods. I don't know, but that's really good. I didn't expect to like it that much. Oh, I did find another sample. So pink peppermint circus cookies. Oh, this one's really good. I should just learn that I need to buy everything mint and everything tree and loaves and then I'll be fine. Or broke, both, I don't know. Um, strawberry fudgery, so strawberry pound cake, bath and body work type, vanilla fudge butter and patisserie. I don't know what patisserie is. I think it's like her bakery, bakery blend. And this one's good, I have this one currently. I mean, her, I've said this probably 10 times already, but her, her bakery scents, they are so like rich and decadent and like, I don't know. I, I can't even, they're so good. This is very good. I'm very happy to have a loaf in this. And this is something that I could melt all year long. Okay, Tiff's favorite bakery, which is blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. Um, blackberry waffle cone, I'm right, right there for that. Oh, this is good. This is really good too. So I really get that blackberry, and it's it's a lighter bakery scent than this than what the other one is, and I think it's because it has um the waffle cone in it instead. Mm, that's really good. And I love this color. It's beautiful. I'm excited to melt this one. And again, this is one that I could melt all year round. You know, it's not to me necessarily has to be fall or winter. Okay, next we have ice melt fall. 
which is Cider Lane Bath and Body Work type, pecan waffles, and marshmallow fireside. Oh, that's really good. You definitely get that Cider Lane combined with the pumpkin pecan waffles. And it's just, oh, that's a really good balance. And then you do, you get a little bit of that marshmallow fireside too. But the cider lane is stronger than the pumpkin pecan waffles in this blend. Mm. That's really good too. So far, there's nothing that I don't like. Um, pink embers, so I've had this one too. Pink sugar, sugar cookies, peppermint, vanilla, and marshmallow fireside. Oh, see, this one is so good too, guys. You really get that peppermint, the pink sugar, and then you get the smokiness too. This is one of the blends that I could just set and smell. It's really good. If you like peppermint and pink sugar, then you would like this one. It's really good. Okay, and our last thing is everything nice. So cupcakes at Tiffany's, strawberry pound cake, bath and body work type, sweet lavender layered with milk and cookies. And I love how she has the scent descriptions on all of her things and she has the pour date. So like some of, a lot of my loaves are poured 10, like in October. And then like my, some of my souffles, like this one was poured 930. But I just, I really appreciate when vendors go the extra mile to include those things on their labels. Because even when I'm, going through my own wax dash, there is no way that I can memorize what every single scent is. And I might be like, hey, I really want to do a strawberry pound cake type scent today. Well, this makes it so I know that it's a strawberry pound cake type scent. Um, the other vendors, sometimes I'll write them on myself. Sometimes I just get mad and put them away and just don't worry about it. But I just, I wish that more vendors would do that because it really is beneficial for for us as customers and especially having the pour date on there i mean that's just an extra mile that she does that really just shows that customer service oh this one's good so you really get that strawberry pound cake combined with the sweet lavender So the milk and cookies, I wonder if it's a layer souffle. It says layered. Probably is. Let me pop it out. Yep. So the milk and cookies to me is a very dense cookie scent with a hint of like cinnamon, cinnamon sugar. It's really such a good scent. I mean, at first, I was worried about the milk and milk and cookies, but no, it's a very good, very dense, rich scent. That's very pretty. I do really like the layered ones. Um, so that is everything that I got. So I got one, two, three, seven loaves, three chunk bags. And 15 souffles. I don't know. I got a lot. Um, there are so many good blends here. I don't think there's any way that I could pick out a favorite. I'm really, really happy with the loaves that I got. Although I do wish that a few other scents that I would have gotten loaves in. Um, I think probably my surprise was this one. I really, really like this one. I wish that I would have gotten a loaf of that one. 
Um, and I wish, I don't remember if she offered it or not, but I wish I would have gotten a loaf of each of these ones separately. So the crushed candy canes and then the tr Christmas trees and cream. I know she offered the Christmas trees and cream. I don't remember about the crushed candy canes. Um, I'm wishing that I would have gotten pink peppermint circus cookies. I don't remember what form she offered that in. Or if she did, if she does offer it in the restock, I'll probably buy it. I'll probably go back in and buy a few things in the restock. I do want to maybe get some lavender buns because the only lavender one that I got was a, what was it? The Everything Nice was the only lavender bun that I got. And I do wish I would have gotten more of her lavender blends. Um, I've melted a couple this week and I really enjoy them. And I, I do wish that I would have gotten more of hers. Um, so I don't know. I think she said that she was going to post the restock list this weekend after she got all the shipping out. I'm super excited about everything. I'm really glad I'm working on melting through hers this week because I don't know where I'm going to put everything. So I might set in my boxes for a few days till I make some more room. But thank you for checking out my haul with me with Teddy Bees. Um, what do you think about Teddy Bees? Did you guys order anything? Do you plan on checking out her restock? Um, I do think that things go pretty fast. So I think that if you're wanting something, you do have to get on there pretty much right away. I think I'm going to check out the list. I might get a few more things. I am finding, spoiler alert, I'm finding so far that her blends um, are working very, very well for me in my home. And I am not changing out my wax quite as often. So when I come to the end of the week and I do my empties and unempties video, I'm probably not going to get through near as much as I've gotten through in the two previous weeks because her sense for me and my home and the warmers I use are much longer lasting. So I'm getting notifications on my phone that my kids are gonna be home soon from their bus. So I will let you go. And again, thank you for watching this. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm really enjoying reading all of your comments and getting to know each of you. It's so much fun having this hobby together. And I don't know, I think that someday we should or organize like a huge, uh, wax meetup where we all can meet up and meet each other in person and I don't know that'd be really fun but thank you and I hope that you're having a great day and I will see you next time